after the disaster that was Batman Robin. There was supposed to be a planned sequel to Batman Robin called Batman Unchained. Clooney was supposed to reprise his role. But due to the negative critical reception, and a mass amount that was, plans for those Batman movies were put on hold. Eight years later, in 2005, Christopher Nolan picked up the project. Instead of doing a continuation of Batman and Robin, they rebooted the series. Christopher Nolan was to direct the movie, and Christian Bale stars Bruce Wayne Batman, and the film was called Batman Begins. A film that revolutionized the way comic book films were done, and it laid the groundwork for Iron Man and The Dark Knight. The story of Batman Begins, it explores the origins of Bruce Wayne, and also shows the beginnings of his career as Batman. They show Bruce Wayne's parents being killed in Crime Alley. They show what happens to Bruce Wayne afterwards. He goes to Nanda Parbat, the trainer of Rachel Ghul in the League of Shadows. And they show what Gotham City is like, how dirty it is. The police department, the people there. They also show you how Bruce Wayne builds his Batman suit. Batman's first test is Jonathan Crane, the Scarecrow. He is a psychiatrist at Arkham Asylum, and his plan is to poison Gotham's water supply and hold the city for ransom. Now, the public is split on Batman. Some see him as someone who's trying to help, and there were other people who see him as a vigilante that needs to be put away. But Batman has a huge test. Now, my thoughts on Batman begins. It's brilliant. It's what the Batman movies needed, and it's what superhero movies needed. What Nolan did was this film, he kind of took what Tim Burton did. It made this movie darker, grittier, more realistic. What if Batman exist in the year 2005? How would the public react? That's what they did well with this movie. And you have a post credit scene in the movie, well not really a post credit scene, but the ending scene showed a Joker card, so that lets you know we're going to get Joker in The Dark Knight. So Batman Begins, watched it, I give it a 10 out of 10, I like it, it's dark, it's gritty, it's what the Batman movies really needed, you know, a soft reboot, nothing too out of the ordinary, but way better than Batman, Robin, and the other interpretations out there. So, there's my thoughts on Batman Begins, and we will review, well, I've already reviewed The Dark Knight. It's already up on the channel. I, think it's, I guess the next one I review is The Dark Knight Rises. So I will see you all for that one.